Up next, the Thunder taking on the Warriors. For the Thunder, so far this season has been all roses with two straight wins. Can they extend the streak? Warriors. Thunder. We'll be right back for the tip. Tonight, it'll be the Golden State Warriors going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder in their house, Chesapeake Energy Arena. Last outing for the Thunder, they won that game against Washington. A win tonight would bring them to 3-0 on the young season. What a start that would be for them. They've looked awfully good in those first two wins. And Chris Paul, six feet tall in shoes, Kenny. He does a great job working himself. Yeah, he could beat you in the driving game, the post-up game. He doesn't get enough credit for his willingness to be physical. Yeah, but he's always played bigger than his size, but that speaks to his mental toughness as well. Did you always play bigger than your size? You, it was of impossible. Of course I did. It's yes. impossible yeah. for you to play bigger than your size. You know why they call me Diesel, Arnie? Why? Because I'm an 18-wheel on the highway with no brakes. Whoa. With, a, with a nuclear device. Get out the carrying. way. Get out the way or door. That's probably why you got pulled over. But that's another story. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. While we get a break, let's take a look at the October standings out west. Taking a look at Oklahoma City, they hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And, of course, the Warriors. They're five spots away. And for the Warriors, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline and our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A., well, the Oklahoma City Thunder has moved up the rankings defensively year after year. Coach Billy Donovan said, I've said it all along. We've got to be a team that hangs our hat on defense. And with their size and athleticism, there's no reason they can't be the best defense in the league. Kevin? And they bring that physicality. Thank you, David. Looking at the long season ahead, Brent, as a veteran player, what are some of the habits that keep your body going strong, staying healthy? Teams have really gotten hip to the idea that we need to rest our, our star players as much as possible. So efficiency with the work that they do, I think, is the most important thing. Star guys who get into practice and are on the court for 50 minutes to an hour every day so that there's a rhythm that they can keep and the teammates can keep up along with them on the floor. That, that's what's about for those guys. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Raymond Green is out there with Wiggins, and it's Chris in at the center. And for the Thunder, Robertson and Gallinari at the small and power forward positions. Chris Paul is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Adams in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Paul. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. That's why Chris Paul is so special is because he can just navigate around pick and rolls, find open areas, and there's just no defense for that. Thompson with it. He'll just Alexander cover. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. Well, we're now in the back end of what has been, Greg, an incredible career for Chris Paul. It's no longer the undisputed best point guard in the game, but uh, still a top talent. 
And, and Chris Paul might not be the best point guard, but any team would be happy to have him. His efficiency and playmaking aren't going away anytime soon. And even though he's never been an overly athletic player, that aspect of his game still is strong as ever. And so he hits the technical free throw. And what you love about Steph right here is just the winning mentality. He's a champion that gives up a lot of his game in order for greater team success. Now here's Curry. On the wing, Green. Shot clock at six. Over Paul. And Paul pulls it down. About one minute into the first quarter. the three they get it back Adams and a good offensive board and he gets the bucket well Steven Adams always working the offensive glass strong and aggressive in there and gets that second chance hoop Curry against Paul Higgins outside From deep. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 2 of 3 here to start off the game. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Ball outside. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. For an undersized player, Chris Paul's a pretty good finisher around the rim. Certainly knows all the angles. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Thompson with it. He's picked up by Paul. Thompson passes to Kerr. Higgins outside. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. With a break in the action, let's show you the teams with the most second-chance points last year. Second, the Thunder. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. All against Curry. And here is Paul. He picked up 27 points in their last win against Washington. Score the basket is third after five shots. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Warriors trail by seven. Here's Thompson. Outside Curry. Six on the shot clock to end the drought, and he sinks the layup. Yeah, all those things that Steph does before the game, and you think there's no way he's pulling those off in the game. Guess what? He's pulling them off in the game. Now here's Adams. Ball outside. Back to Adams. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. From deep, Gallinari. That shot off the mark. The Warriors go the other way. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes into points. Yeah, the last game, it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively, forcing a lot of those turnovers, and that helps build your defensive confidence. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Thompson outside. The Thunder pull it in. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And really complete control of that game. If you recall, guys, they made sure they didn't have to sweat that one out down the stretch. And the final score may not have indicated just how much they were in that one. They were clearly the dominant team. Now, here is Golinari. 
after the miss from Clay Thompson. Back to Adams. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Adams has got six points. And for Coach Billy Donovan of the Thunder, a lot on the line. In his last year of a five-year contract with the team, the end result of this team will determine his future with the franchise. Well, this team has never missed the playoffs under his watch. And the interesting thing with the massive trades that happened in the offseason, how much Billy Donovan gets the opportunity now to teach and coach this group of players. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 12-3 run. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered closely. Kalinari on the wing. Gilgis Alexander with it. Working on Thompson. And Stephen Adams again. He's got eight. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. him last season averaged about 27 points a game last season five assists and five rebounds and guys he can just explode for points anytime he steps on the court well he looks to score and he looks to score often now here's curry he picked up 27 points in the last win against the clippers makes good on the step back jumper curry's got five now just feels like there's not a spot on the floor where Steph Curry does not have great touch. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Ball against Curry. Baseline J on the way. Not enough on that one as it misses. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Wiggins. Now Kurt. Sweet little floater. He's got seven. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. The Thunder leading by seven. Now here's Paul. He's got six. The pass to going up. And here is Adams. Over Chris. And Adams gets to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Robertson. Misses off the left iron. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Inside, here's Green, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Now just a five-point Oklahoma City lead. Out to the right wing. Fades and shoots. Thompson with the rebound. The Warriors have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Pass to Curry. Passes it to Wiggins. Curry passes to Green. Here's Wiggins. The shot will not fall. 
and it's Oklahoma City the other way. Interesting to see the Warriors not be prohibitive favorites coming into the season. You still have to give the Warriors a lot of credit for the run they've been on. Five straight finals, something that we haven't seen since the 1960s with the Boston Celtics. Now here's Paul, following the moves by Andrew Wiggins. And here's Gallinari outside. Chris with the rebound. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Now, here's Thompson. He'll just Alexander cover it. Back to Curry. From past the arc. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And taking a look here at numbers for Gallinari, coming off a terrific season. Fourth in free throw percentage. And he also shot his way into the top five in percentage from long range. Just a knockdown shooter. And yeah, he was money from the charity strike. Only a handful of players shot a better percentage last season. Tremendous asset. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Shooters check in for Gilgis Alexander. The Warriors making a switch here. Well, while we have a second, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year. Fifth is Steph Curry. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Paul kicks to Adams. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Schroeder and again Oklahoma City no good Warriors trail by five pass to Chris back to Curry Wiggins left side over Robertson now here's Wiggins not a lot of room on the wing Thompson and there's the shot clock violation couldn't get the shot off in time Oklahoma City leading by five. Paul looking around. And Adams now top of the key. Dishes it to Robertson. Six to shoot. Back to Adams. They need this one. And the layup is up and in. Adams has got ten. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Curry against Paul. Floats one up, and it's a defensive three-second violation. Tough last year for Robertson with the knee injury and missing a lot of the season as he's a defensive staple for this team. Find the lane. Find the lanes. One shot. And he shows the focus there. Nails the technical. One twenty-one left to play in the first quarter. Shoots from 12. 
Thompson with the bucket. And with Robertson, his absence last year was definitely felt. Yeah, it hurt the, the starting lineup and some of the balance that they had established for the last three or four seasons with Robertson in the lineup. He raises the level of that defensive intensity on a nightly basis. Here's Paul. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Love the deft touch from Chris Paul on the floater there. His timing on those shots sublime. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him. Thompson outside. Now the pass to Chris. Lock at six. Over Adams. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Thirty-two seconds left in the first quarter. The Thunder leading by six. Paul passes to Adams. Alinari outside. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Seventeen seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Paul against Curry. From deep three-point range, and the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Oklahoma City with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Oh, I ain't enough on a, I ain't there's a great friendship between Melo, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul, and Chris talked about where all that started. It's just been a sort of long relationship, you know, and obviously me, Bron, Melo, D. Wade have all really gotten really close. And that stems from the time with the Olympics, uh, USA teams, and then just sharing a lot of the same likes and, and values and having kids and family and different things like that. And you see that a lot nowadays, star players developing friendships and GA spending time with each other off the floor. Yeah, some people hate it because they, they want that bad blood you used to see, but no reason you have to hate someone to really compete against them. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play, setting the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Then there's Gerald Green, and it's Looney in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And so it's Golden State with it. The Thunder making the shot. Curry against Paul. Thompson outside. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Schroeder, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Oklahoma City leading by six. The 10 footer. And that misses badly. Air ball. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That will conclude their brief two game road trip. Thompson passes to Curry. Over Noel, Curry's shot is good. Curry's got 10 points. Talent coming from everywhere these days, Brent, including the developmental league. The G League has done a wonderful job of watching players develop there and then vaulting them up to the big league. And I think last year, Kevin, the numbers were that more than half of the players in the NBA had spent some time in the G League. You want to talk about 
that lead coming impact. along with. What an impact. Massive. Yes. And what you're seeing, too, over the past few years, Kevin, is people doing a great job of using the G League a lot better. Not just experimenting and lab ratting what that team is about, but really well thought out player development and stints for guys on their team rather than just practicing and traveling and sitting and watching games. You're watching guys go play a, a game in the afternoon and then coming up to the NBA level and participating in an NBA game that night. You know, that's going to go a long way to make guys in the early part of their career uh, take the necessary strides in a lot quicker than they normally this would. This two-way contract has been a wonderful addition. Except if you talk to their agents, Kevin. Yes, it's been, it's been very good for the control of an organization to find that kind of talent. Here's Schroeder. The Warriors making the shot. Here's Noel. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Noel's got four this quarter. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. Curry against Paul. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. The Thunder leading by six. Pass to Noel. Here's Schroeder. Pass to Robertson. The three. The Warriors pull it in. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Curry with it. He's picked up by Paul. Curry looking around. Pass to Looney. On the wing, Thompson. Shoots over Schroeder. The shot by Thompson, no good. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. That's tipped. It's stolen by Green. Thompson outside. Kicks to Curry. Thompson outside. And the pass to Looney. 11 feet away. Pass to Pascal. All against Green. Passes to Thompson. It's Curry outside, and it's Noel with the rebound. The Thunder leading by six. Schroeder outside, pass to Paul. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And a moment now to check out who the Warriors have coming up on their schedule. On Monday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Wednesday... They'll head back home to host the Phoenix Suns. And there's the pass to Thompson. Trying to end the drought. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Thompson's got six. Yeah, unwilling to give up that possession so easily. Clay Thompson understands it's his turn to get in there, get dirty, make a play. Committed to the offensive glass. To the middle. And here is Noel. Back to Schroeder. Six to shoot. From 11 feet away. Noel dishes to Schroeder. And that one drops. And the Thunder lead by six. And Schroeder did not even have to think twice about that shot. This young man simply devours these chances inside. Curry against Paul. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Here's Green. The shot from the low post is good. Green's got his second basket. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Thunder. 
They've led by as many as 11 points. To the inside, Noel, and the layup's good off the glass. Great to have Noel active like that, proving how dangerous he can be on the inside. Well, it's been up and down the last few years for Nerland's Noel, but there are still some impactful numbers for the minutes that he's on the floor as a rim protector. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Schroeder. That's good from Paul on the assist from Robertson. And now it's an eight-point Thunder lead. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. And for Noel, his numbers will never match the visual impact he has on the floor, you should say. Oh, he's definitely a player about the little things out there. Just being a rim protector, making sure the guys think about him when they're attacking the rim. Just three to shoot. Green inside the three-point line. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Schroeder looking around. Pass to Muscala. On the wing, Robertson. Over Thompson. And that one goes long. Warriors trail by eight. Curry on the wing. Back to Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Now, here's Schroeder. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Washington. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. To the wing on the left. Looney kicks to Curry. Passes it to Thompson. Puts it up from 12. Rebound by Muscoa. The Thunder leading by eight. Shoots from 12. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. The Warriors have gone six of 14 shooting here in the second. Outside, Green. Curry on the wing. Defended by Paul. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got four this quarter. Yeah, I feel like the ball really isn't even getting anywhere close to the rim. It's all cotton right now. Schroeder against Thompson. Schroeder outside. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And checking out the stats for Paul. Last season, he played outstanding. Averaged 15 points a game. Eight assists and four rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game. A great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Now here's Green. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Schroeder outside. Ball outside. Shoots over Curry. Offensive rebound. Pass to Robertson. Shot missing, and Golden State will go the other way with it. To the paint, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. This break in the game gives us a chance to look at the teams with the most points off turnovers last season. Second, the Thunder. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the identity. I mean, they really look to disrupt and cause problems defensively. And boy, do they take advantage on the other end. 
Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Adams, he's checked in for Noel. Alinari comes in for Muscala. Ferguson's checked in for Andre Robertson. And Shea Gilgis-Alexander subbed in for Chris Paul. Now, here is Gallinari. A 20-point game for him in the win against Washington. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chance. Now, here's Lee. Danilo Gallinari unable to get his last shot to go. Some nice passing by Golden State. Here's Wiggins. Gallinari with the rebound. The Thunder leading by four. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Ferguson the pass to Gallinari. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Schroeder against Curry. Let's the three fly. And that one released in time, but no good. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Oklahoma City out in front, up by four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys shot a great percentage in the first half, but still a tight game. What do you think's causing that? I think right now we're playing at that tempo. You know, we need to pick up the pace. Uh, defense, rebound, run, and, and pick up the pace a little bit. And defense starts that pace. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? Chris Paul has been the story in this one. He had 14 points, four rebounds, and one steal. He's in a crazy zone right now and seems to be even hotter than he was in their last game. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. I was super impressed with their sock selection. I think that was part of the strategy coming in. They wanted to be patient with the basketball, move it around, and get high percentage looks. Obviously, that's going to be big. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? I was surprised at some of the recklessness. They were scattered, sloppy ball handling, just too many turnovers. It gets back to fundamentals. Forget the highlight real pass. Make the effective one. Simple bounce pass. John Wooden taught us that in the 40, 30, 50, whenever he was coaching. Just play on the control. Simple ball, dude. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Chris Paul. What a contribution. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Warriors trail by four. Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Gilgis Alexander out there with Paul, and it's Robertson in at the small four. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Now here's Curry. A floater, and the layup is good. Curry's got the first field goal of the second half for the Warriors. It's not talked about a lot, but Steph is fast, so whether he's firing or passing, the defense is pretty much on their heels, especially in the screen and roll. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Outside Curry. Riggins outside. Shot clock at five. Pulls up on the elbow. 
And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now a chance to check out Clay Thompson. He had a strong showing last season. 17th and three-point field goal percentage. And amongst the league's top-tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And one of the better three-point shooters in the league last season. And as you said, he was really good from out deep practically every time we saw him play. Paul passes to Gallinari. Come on, Come on. From the wing, they grab their own miss, Adam. Uses the glass that time, and it's good. Adams has got 12. Well, Adams back in the paint. That's where he lives. Well, that's a guy out there in Steven Adams that you just have to pay attention to. Every night he's going to bang around the opposing big guys and be a threat around the rim to score and pick up offensive rebounds. Paul against Kurt. Now here's Paul. He's tightly guarded. Yep, that one goes. 16 points for him. Okay. Good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. And with Adams on the offensive glass, he is impossible to move. Well, that's a big reason why uh, a couple years ago, Kevin, he grabbed more offensive rebounds than defensive rebounds. So you know he's going to live in the paint. Now here's Wiggins. No points in the game yet for him. Over Robertson. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Down low. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Outside Curry. There's the pass to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Good on the bucket. Wiggins has got his first basket. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight, Kevin. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Paul kicks to Robertson. Inside. They double him with Green. Kicks it out to Paul. And the turnover again by Oklahoma City. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Paul against Curry. Pass to Thompson. And now here's Chris. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Now just a two-point Oklahoma City lead. Well, Thunder have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. Ball against Kurt. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got four points this quarter. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Curry against Paul. Thompson outside. The dish to Green. Two points. That one goes. Green's got his second bucket. Yeah, some situational awareness there from Clay Thompson. He understands the offense. He understands where the cutters are, and he finds one. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Thompson. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Higgins outside. Thompson surveying the floor. Outside Curry. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who were the best shooters from behind the arc last season. Steph Curry fourth. And, of course, Gallinari. What shooting we saw from them all season. I mean, I'd love to see these guys in a game of course. They'd probably be draining shots from midcourt. Now here's Paul. 18 points for him. Go on, go on, go on, go on. 
Shot clock at six. Robertson dishes to Gallinari, and he drops it in from the low post. And the Thunder lead by four. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Here's Thompson. Ten points for him. Curry is inside. Defended by Paul from the baseline. And the Warriors tack on two more. Well, any shot seems to be a high percentage shot for one Steph Curry, especially from that area on the floor. This is it to Robertson. Replay angles are interesting, Brent. Instant feedback on social media. Talk about the increased pressure now on referees to get every call right. Well, so many times, Kevin, on nights where you're working games, you sit there for a minute and a minute and a half. In super slow motion looking at the play. And, and still sometimes hard to get it right. Very hard. What I think the league should think about doing with the competition committee is every team in the league should have three and four cameras that are mounted so that... Every time there's a replay at any given arena, they have access to the same angles. For where, every game. Every game. Where are most of the times these calls being missed? Where are these calls getting wrong? And how is it that we can implement some technology to help us not only get it right more often, which is the most important thing, but also fair and balanced vision for the referees to have an opportunity to do so. What an excellent idea. And the Thunder making a change here. Noel's checked in. Warriors trail by four. Pass to Chris. Thompson outside. Here's Pascal. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's the floater. And the layup good by Kerr. Those floaters, boy, they, they really demoralize the defense. Here's the thing. Steph knows it. Curry against Paul. Shoots over Curry. Second chance shot. And Noel lays it up and in. Noel's got eight points. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second chance points. Thompson, left side. Steps back and shoots. Four on the clock. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got six rebounds in the game. Ball against Curry. Ball passes to Gallinari. And the Thunder can't hang on to the ball. All right, a chance to look at numbers for Wiggins. Some last season stats for him. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Five rebounds and two assists. And very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has. Just a great stretch for him. He keeps playing like this, and you know in arenas, especially at home, when the star player is playing this well, those MVP chants come raining down. Now, here's Wiggins. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Wiggins has got four points in the quarter. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Chris with it. Back to Curry. To the wing right side. Here's Thompson. That one misses. So the Thunder will take it the other way. Golinari against Wiggins. Paul outside. over Curry. And it's Paul missing. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warrior. Trailing by four. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. 
Back to Wiggins. And that one, good. Wiggins has got six. Just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. To the middle. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Adams. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Curry against Paul. Adams down low. 14 points for him. And it goes down two points. This not part of the game plan. Steven Adams finding a way to offensively be impactful down low. Chris with it. Now defended by Adams. To the right side. Pass goal. The pass to Curry. Over Gallinari. Curry can't get it to go. Oklahoma City leading by four. Well, when Danilo Gallinari came into the NBA, Brent, he was just a catch-and-shoot type player. But he's so much more than that now. Well, I think with the way the league has changed with the three-point shot and Gallinari's ability to do that, he's gotten a lot smarter about picking his spots when the pump fake can drive in and draw some contact. Here's Curry. Gallinari making his last shot. Wiggins, left side. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Eight points for him. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. And for the Thunder, they're shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Thompson. Curry against Paul. Curry on the wing. He's got 18. Out to Thompson. Pass goal. The pass to Wiggins. Over Gallinari. And it's Wiggins missing. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Out to the right wing. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we've watched three so far in this one. Thunder lead by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is fault shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. The Thunder leading by four on the court for Golden State here in the fourth. We've got Steph Curry. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Chris, and it's Lee in at the two. Now here's Noel. Here's Ferguson. Sinks that one from the post. And the Thunder lead by six. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Pass to lead. To the inside. Outside for Curry. Takes a three. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Schroeder. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Up top, Adams. Passes to Ferguson. Lock at six. Good work there as it goes. 
Ferguson's got four points this quarter. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. Lee outside. Back to Curry. To the paint. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to six. That one coming from Lee. Steph out there singing a lullaby to the defense, gets them to sleep, and then sets up the teammate nicely. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Schroeder, right side. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Pulls it up. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Mike Muscala is checked in for Oklahoma City. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Golden State. Warriors trail by six. Now Curry. Outside, Green. Curry on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Green. Over Muscala. And it comes off the front of the rim. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Covered by Lee. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Over Lee. Warriors with the rebound. Chris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Wiggins finds Chris. And here is Curry. Lee outside. Inside. Here's Wiggins. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with, and look how engaged he is on both ends. Now, here is Muscala. Schroeder outside. Over to the wing. Here's Ferguson, covered by Wiggins. Ferguson misses. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one, Kevin. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. The pass to Chris. Back to Curry. Pass to Chris. He kicks it to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State. Here's Green. And they'll turn over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Robertson, he's checked in for Terrence Ferguson. Andre Robertson. The Thunder leading by four. Gilgis Alexander with it. Schroeder outside. And Robertson has it in the corner. Over Green. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. And the Warriors can't hang on to the ball. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Thunder have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And every season, the Thunder continue to be one of the more dominating teams on the glass. Just wonder how much Steven Adams has been the catalyst for that kind of mentality. We know that offensively, he's always in there to grab rebounds, but it's part of what they know is important in any possession is collecting the ball.
on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Over Lee. And at 10, no good by Oklahoma City. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Curry against Schroeder. Passes it to Chris. Shades over Adams. And the shot no good. A bit short. Oklahoma City leading by four. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Makes it off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got his first points in this one. Gilgis Alexander, a unique frame at his size and an intriguing scorer. Now here's Wiggins. He's guarded close. He feeds it to Green. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Six points for Draymond Green. The Thunder have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Bounce pass, Schroeder. From about 16, Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Outside Curry. Pass to Chris. Fires top of the key. And it's Wiggins missing. The Thunder with the lead. Schroeder outside. Muscala dishes to Schroeder. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Timeout called the Warriors. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Molinari comes in for Muscala. And it's Paul in for Dennis Schroeder. Now, here's Thompson. Wiggins, right side. The three. Offensive rebound. And the basket is good. Eight points for Draymond Green. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Paul against Curry. Here's Paul. Here's the lob to Adams. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adams. Warriors trail by four. Outside Curry. He dishes it to Thompson. 
Trying to break that ice cold streak. Out to Chris. It's Wiggins at the top of the key. Five to shoot. Over Gallinari. And it's Wiggins missing. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Now Robertson. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Teardrop shot. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Thunder lead by six. And Gilgis Alexander up there. So dynamic as a finisher. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Count it. Clay Thompson, no stranger to these situations. Always willing to fire in the big moments. Oklahoma City leading by four. Pass to Robertson. Alinari with it. Shoots. The Warriors pull it in. It's three on three on the fast break. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Outside curve. Shot from 12. And that's good off the glass that time. Now just a two-point Oklahoma City lead. What work from Steph Curry. Gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Pass to Adams. Dishes it to Paul. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. A three-pointer, no good. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. 35 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Chris. Now Wiggins. Now it is Curry. Over Gallinari. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Thompson. All against Curry. Here's Paul. Defense is right there. Back to Gallinari. Can they get it? They get it again. It falls! Oh, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trailing by four. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. All against Curry. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Ball outside. And they double up Paul. Passes it to Robertson. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. 
Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by four. 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth. the Warriors now. Four point game. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Here's Curry. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. He know he's going to have the ball and then you feel he's going to come through. He did it there. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Here's Paul. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Now, just such leadership that Chris Paul brings every night to the floor. It commands your respect and the opponent's respect, and it's making everyone around him better right now. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. So it's Oklahoma City picking up a win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, what does a win like this do for you at this time of the season? Uh, hopefully it gives us a little momentum. We got a tough stretch coming up. We got our back-to-back -back next week, so hopefully it just gives us a little momentum. We'll see if we can keep it going again. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.